I'm about to show you is an issue. It affects every Denso navigation system that was put into a GM vehicle from at least 2005, including the model year 2010. That whole stretch from 2005 to 2010. It has to do with uh, binary coding of week zero uh, up to week 1023, so 1024 weeks. Apparently what's happened is uh, there's a new batch of satellites that have gone out that start at week 1024 and go up to week 2048. The problem being is the older Denso nav systems do not recognize the coding in order to allow you to put in the date and time. So it doesn't calculate the time, it doesn't calculate what day it is, it has no idea what on earth is going on. This is a problem that I feel uh, should have a free fix, seeing as it's a manufacturer's oversight. Uh, yeah, it took this long for uh, all this to manifest. However, it's still not anything that the user has done. It is a defect. It is a manufacturer's oversight, and it's something that should be fixed, period. No excuses. GM, you better find a fix. Denso, you better work hand-in-hand -hand with them until this thing is fixed. I do want to say thank you, GM, for actually including Saab in this issue because everyone knows that even with the sobs that you were responsible for because you owned the company at the time you've basically washed your hands clean and you just keep saying no no I'm not gonna cover it nope sorry we'll cover every other vehicle we make but, oh, nope so, except you sob guys so thank you for actually including us in this but this is still something that needs to be fixed and it should not come out of pocket to the people who are having this issue Okay, so here we go. Uh, what we've got here, we've got the date here. Now, what you should be able to do is just press date and the date should just pop up on the screen, but it doesn't. Uh, press and hold date. And there you go. Nice and blank. Oh, it's upon daylight saving time. Oh, no, you won't let me do that? Oh, okay, how about if I switch to 24 hour? Oh, you won't let me do that either. You know, when people say uh, the symbol here, the GPS symbol's not there, well, let's see, stored location, enter destination. Oh, let's do three. See, GPS is there. Let's do that. And you'll notice on the bottom here, it will still actually calculate the uh, distance, uh, the time, uh, too. Now, it shows here that the GPS isn't working, but trust me, it, it does. As soon as you actually start driving, it kicks on. The route guidance will start now. Uh, actually, let's see, route options. I don't need cancel, yes. See, GPS is good. And then it goes back to this. That's another issue. This will say it's not working, even though it actually is. And even if you use the adjust button here, go to the clock, it's the same thing. So, yeah, I'm sorry, but like the, 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 this really should not be an issue. I mean, they knew about this 10 years ago. That's how ridiculous this is. So, yeah, y'all need to fix this stuff, man. Come on, let's get a fix for it.